Ngā mihi mahana atu wā kia tau kātou. Kia tātou, my brain's gone too. I feel a bit like uh, Minister Jan Tanetti this morning who said, how could he put me on after a comedian? It's not fair. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm not going to say very much because my voice is going and you have had um, a day and a half of some pretty br brain exploding material and I think it will be great if some of the conversations continue afterwards anyway. Um, so thank you very much indeed for spending um, the last day and a half with us to con connect Kōrero and to shift the dial for New Zealanders and their financial well-being. We knew when we launched the strategy that together we would achieve much more uh, towards enhancing New Zealand financials capability than, um, we would, than we would alone. And so when you get 250 people um, in the same room who want to make a difference, it's bound to happen, isn't it? Um, we've heard so many great examples of mahi happening all around us to shift the dial for New Zealanders and their well-being. Uh, yesterday we heard how the banks are innovating to help their customers and we just heard another brilliant banking related panel uh, and, and how banks uh, can uh, better serve Māori. Um, I don't come from the sector, as you know, and I was heard to say quite loudly last night, that was after about the third rosé, I think, that um, I was stunned to be so fascinated by a panel on banks yesterday. It was really fascinating, wasn't it? <laughs> um, we've heard how government, industry, iwi and community can work together and do more in, in partnership with smart policies, strong focus and the right investment in the right places. Um, the It Starts With Action campaign was testament that our often disconnected sector I can work together and champion better outcomes for underserved customers. So when we think um, from a marketing perspective um, outside our, our, our silos and go, what can we do for a demographic or a psychographic cohort, um, the power of people from different parts of the sector working together to address this um, was really manifested in the, in the It Starts With Action campaign. Um, you know, Simran having her best-selling book and podcast, Helping Wahine Invest, hugely invest, uh, important for their future. Phenomenal achievement. <laughs> um, we'll be able to say in a couple of years, oh my God, we had Simran at our conference. I mean, <laughs> she's in Paris today and New York tomorrow and we got her in Wellington. <laughs> Uh, Pasitaro and Tyrone, you know, fantastic um, presentations, thank you. I didn't know of either of you. Um, I'm glad to see that Teresa's pricked up a little ears over here, so if there's <laughs> um, special business things going on the side, that's also an outstanding result. Um, an annual conference is part of the, a key part of the national strategy because we all know how important it is to hear these stories and share successes. Um, and learnings. Um, oh, who I didn't write that bit. Learnings, bad word. Mm -mm. Um, let's have lessons or other such things. Um, we can't tackle everything at once, but if we keep working together, challenging our thinking, being more responsive to the unique needs of our target audiences, and saying yes to trying something new, um, then we'll start to build a better future for New Zealanders together. The national strategy is a simple document aimed to pave a starting point for this work. So I ask that you keep bringing to our attention new opportunities you see for the NAT strat that will, ha that will help addressing our small team. Um, there's a question up on Slido at the moment which, which we'd like feedback for. Um, in terms of future opportunities. Please drop them down. Um, we'll, we'll look at all of what we've learned over the last couple of days, look at all your feedback, and we'll start pulling that together in terms of a report um, shortly. Um, and we'll probably be in touch almost certainly to ask for your help and for brainstorm. Um, we'll look to host our next conference, we think around March 2024. Um, there are a lot of other industry conferences that happened ar around this time of the year. This one, of course, was delayed, uh, courtesy of COVID again. So we're thinking, you know, late quarter one of most calendar years might be a good thing to do. Um, and because you're such a diverse group, and the sector is, is sort of a loosely called thing, isn't it, um, across industry and government, iwi and community, not-for-profits, the whole lot. Um, it's... it's um, I think 
the bringing together has been more powerful than even I could have thought because you know many of us don't interact with each other most of the time. And so I don't know about you, but learning more deeply from people working outside our sphere or in areas that I've only kind of heard about but don't really know deeply, and certainly learning from speakers, um, Takahakura, I mean, you know, rock star, <laughs> learning from speakers um, about their own journeys and their own way that they're inspiring our people um, is the most wonderful thing of all, isn't it? Um, there are three people in particular I want to thank. Um, number one, our Michelle, our Miss MC, Michelle Accord. Um, stunning, funny, empathetic, uh, smart, very short. Um, remarkable small package of talent. So thank you so much for your effort. She's worked so hard. <laughs> the second person I want to thank is our conference director, Rachel Beckett. Of course. There's a number of our commission team here, and I hope you've managed to connect with them. Chara Ahonga Ora has something like 35 staff. Rachel is the one person who's responsible for the national strategy. She's pulled together the conference pretty much on her own. Um, a number of, of us at the commission have been, you know, dragooned in to help at various points. She's had support. But um, it's Ra Rachel's designed the agenda, she's wrangled the speakers, she's led, she's led the logistics, um, and it's her vision that's got us all here today with that extraordinary range of speakers and thinkers that we've had before us. So Rachel, thank you. <clears throat> and the third person I want to thank, this is a cheat, it's the power of the collective voice. The third person is you. Um, your engagement, your thinking, your absolute dedication to helping New Zealanders, uh, your communities, individuals, um, our society as a whole. Um, you're amazing. Industry, community, iwi, government, all of you. Um, thank you for supporting our work and thank you for, for supporting each other. And I very much look forward to seeing you um, in a year and a bit. Ngā mihi nui. <laughs>